Echelheart's face plant. They just did a big update adding a new synth engine uh, generator thing called uh, Granular. Put in a longer sound file, not like a one-shot sample sort of thing, but you can kind of have like some sort of long texture kind of sound. And then you can grab little like snippets of it and even modulate where it's pulling from and get some really interesting results from it. Rather than a static sort of oscillator or a noise source or things, you can use wave files and um, get some really interesting sounds from that. Okay, so let me just try to remember how this works because I don't remember at all. That's coming through. Okay, so that's basic sort of oscillator. Let's uh, let's get rid of that. Put in the new granular one. And how do we get to a sound? Here's a bunch of sounds that are included. Let's go to chaotic saw. So it's sort of like looping the small section and that's this number here uh the the four grains you can increase this number And then there's a whole envelope for like how this functions and all these things. Uh, I'm gonna go to fully boiling oil. So there's this sync function here where it can sync to your project tempo as well. All right, so I'm going to put it back to density. All right, and for effects, I'm just gonna add in a bit of reverb. Actually, I'll put in a delay. Let's do parallel. Um, reverb, reverb, there it is. How do I make these parallel? Send to master, send to master. Gonna switch to headphones here. Okay. So I just found a chord button. Is Faceplant comparable to Amaranth from JS plugins? Sorry, I only know Amaranth from Twitch. Pretty fun.
All right, let's go to instruments. What does Amaranth do? Hot tub streams. Among other things. Pretty fun. Okay, so with phase point, we can do things like add in an LFO and then apply this LFO to, not to that, to click on the plus and then you go to somewhere else like this. We can drag to change the direction. Let's go bi-directional and change this to sync to, uh, I don't know, one bar. I'm only sending to lane one. Ah, oh, good point. Bottom right of the sample, you can send it to other places. Okay, I'll just move my reverb here. All right, so a lot of the sound is coming from this uh, this delay now. Pretty sweet. Um, Does Phase Plant come with all the modules? Not all. There are these premium effects. Carve EQ, Disperser, Convolver, Faturator, Slice EQ, Multipass, and Snap Heap. Those are all paid plugins. Um, all the essential effects are free, and they're available separately. I could take any of the essential effects and use them as standalone plugins. Or modules within here. Uh, I did a sponsored thing with with Kilohertz last year. So I have everything. Yeah, okay. I'm going to highlight that one. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there's... It seems like there's one shots in the instruments folder, and then I also see a phrases acoustic folder. So hand pan pentatonic noodling. I'm going to turn off the LFO. Let's see what we get with no effects. Okay, and I'll turn off chords and. LFO on. Delay on. And then chord on.
Definitely not normal synth sounds, but very cool. Okay, so instead of the LFO, um, actually I might be able to change it from here. I was gonna say, let's do like a more of a random shape. So here's a, a Wubs shape. More or less grabbing random bits from anywhere. Let's do singing bowl. Hey, Jason. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Don't watch the stream while flying. That's irresponsible. But I appreciate that you've dropped by. And uh, I will check out your video on Faceplant soon. I think I saw it, you posted one on Twitter. Okay, let's send lane one to lane two, and let's put in a transgate.
Yeah, Ribs is such a weird plugin. Um, I used it once or twice, but it it's just such a hard thing to learn. Um, the way that they've just added Granular to Faceplant, where it's got all these other modules that you can kind of self-contained learn, Ribs is just too powerful. But I, I probably played with that four or five years ago. Do these sounds come with Faceplant? Yes. So uh, this folder of, effect, of of sounds is built in. I haven't added anything to this. Uh, let's do a, a vocal thing. I'll turn off the effects. Turn off the effects and turn off the LFO. Pretty weird. Faceplant is a very deep synth. Um, the thing it doesn't have is like a traditional sequencer or um, arpeggiator. You can kind of do things like that, where you're just kind of random randomizing the pitch that's coming in. But other than that, for generators, there's analog, granular, noise, sampler, and wavetable. Uh, and then there's distortion, filters, envelopes, curves, aux, and mix. This is stuff that I've really never used so i've loaded up a preset and i don't know what this is for what folder this is from okay Those sorts of sounds are just instantly usable for game audio. I might just increase the the feedback. Weird. Okay, so I want like something like that. Thank 
I mean, that's pretty cool just as it is. Yeah, if I did something like random and then apply that to, um, I don't know, pitch, let's go full. I think that's triggering. This is a upright bass bow. I'm gonna turn off the second. Let's go down another octave. Can I use something like pressure to control position? Let's try that. Oh, of course, my, this keyboard doesn't send pressure. Never mind. Let's do pitch wheel to pressure. Yeah, I really like that upright bass um, as a sound source. That's a deep violin, too.
this is pretty fun. All right, who else is on edge now? This one's called Black Metal Vocals. Okay, so let's take that and then change the sound. How about um, grains and phrases acoustic, the pan drum. Mm -hmm. 